I feel like fashion and comfortability should come together as one. I mean, I dress like sometimes casual. Maybe one day of the month, I'll try to you know dress up nice. I just dress comfortably. Kind of yeah. cute. Try. I try sometimes. <laughs> Throughout the week, I really don't care. Especially if they get up like at six in the morning just to get over here. So I'm like, let me, let me just find something in the closet real quick. Um, because I was part of my high school's basketball team, oh, okay. and I guess that year uh, we won a CIF for first time, and cool. you know has my last name on it. Maybe it's a jeans. Jeans. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. In red jeans. It's like active wear, okay. you know, yoga pants, um, good comfy shoes. I personally prefer a good footwear, if anything. I mean. Mm -hmm good, good, solid shoes, especially walking around, you're always on your feet, um, running to the class if you're late. I like shoes and pants. Um, I like my striped shirts the most. They're the most comfortable to wear and they're pretty universal for any day. I like jackets the most. Yeah, jackets are my thing. I'm wearing a dress and a jacket and it's like 80 <laughs> degrees outside. Army pants and flip flops. Just uh -huh. even called black craft cold. It's uh -huh. usually just like alternative clothing, Whoa. like darker stuff. Favorite brands are the only ones I can afford. Nike is my favorite brand. Okay. It's like how my mom used to dress, or like how my grandma dresses. I like a lot of the clothes that they wear, and I just like to make it like postmodern. Adidas, uh, Dickies. Yeah. Since uh, I skate, I kind of like my friends kind of got me into it. Okay. So now I wear these type of pants a lot. Between a Nikes and Adidas baby, La Wrong. You say La Wrong? Yeah. Probably New York. Paris. Probably London. New York, definitely, because I feel like we're more city here, so that's what I go towards. I really like the New York style. Um, I feel like us in California, we do take a lot from them because mm -hmm. fashion hits them first. I feel like Sweden has like the okay. craziest fashion from what I've seen before. I'd probably say New York. Okay. Being the fact that like a lot of a lot of visual, I mean, there's all one of there's Fitum Academy, for example, right. in based off in New York. I would so I would say fashion wise they are definitely a hub. I don't like this. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> like a punk rock Tinkerbell or something. I don't know. <laughs> Where I would wear this to, probably nowhere. <laughs> What's is this velvet? Is she wearing? <laughs> and this one's ugly. For me. <laughs> this one I see like Beyonce wearing or something. This Michael Kors collection. Yeah. I, I think just only like my aunts, my uncle wear Michael Kors. <laughs> yeah. And the bag is pretty cool. You could looks like you could fit like a laptop or you know school stuff. Okay, yeah, I like this one a lot. You know, I don't know. It's kind of making a statement though. You know, this is different. I think this one right here is like more common now. I see like a lot of girls dressed like this. It's cool. But yeah. just on the run, it's better. Yeah. This one's pretty normal. This one. I could go with this one. Yeah, that's probably, out of all of them, that's probably like the most like, okay, go to. <laughs> Something, you know, might see in a typical day, like going on a busy street. Yeah, wow, this is different. This is like a costume. This is a, this is a costume. I, I love fashion, low key, but at the same time, I like know nothing of it. Mm -hmm. 